hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're first time i here hello hi my name is louis i hope you're doing well so before i get into this video look i hope you guys can see look i also have a black one let me get the black one Look, you guys, it's so pretty. <sighs> How thoughtful. <laughs> Look, okay, no, never mind. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Let's get right into this video. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the tips and tricks that are going to help you, I hope on how you can gain your self-confidence and your self-esteem growing up i always had issues with self-confidence esteem i was always the shy one the quiet one the one that never wanted to really participate in stuff and i realized that was bad for my health i started to dig deep into the situation and these are the things that worked for me so i really hope that these things work for you as well if you're one that's struggling with like self-esteem and confidence and just really putting yourself out there and being more confident in who you are and you know all of that stuff i hope you enjoy it if you end up liking it please do like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already comment down below if you struggled with it what worked for you or if you feel like you're gonna try these things if they were really helpful please let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be really really happy to see you guys interact with me if that makes sense so in my own opinion my definition or what i think um self-esteem is it's simply the way that you look at yourself the way that you see yourself in what regard do you place yourself do you think highly of yourself or do you think shallow and low about yourself if you think highly of yourself then you have high self-esteem if you think low or shallow about yourself then you have low self-esteem step number one you need to stop seeing yourself the way the world sees you and start seeing you the way god sees you god is your creator god knows you better than anybody else he knows you better than you know you other people's opinions really shouldn't matter focus on what god is saying about you how are you going to know what god is saying about you through his word god is always speaking through his word god gives us an identity in his word so the more you read god's word the more you know who you really are when you know what's in god's word and what god is saying about you trust and believe no one is going to tell you anything contrary i'm going to give an example sometimes ladies are like oh no i feel ugly and there are people that actually have like low self-esteem because they feel ugly like legit why i'm saying read god's word to know what he says about you is that first of all we are made in god's image according to his likeness the moment you know what god is saying about you you're confident already god has said this about me so this is who i truly am so start seeing yourself through god's eyes step number two into gaining your self-confidence and your self-esteem be kind to yourself don't be too hard on yourself okay sometimes we place unrealistic goals in our lives at the end of the day you start to feel maybe i'm a failure i can't do this i can't do that look at what my friends are look at what my friends are doing da, 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 da. listen don't set unrealistic goals like okay so this year i need to buy a car and you know you don't have money you know you don't even have a job to start with i know it's possible right at the end of the day be realistic set goals that you know are achievable within the space of time that you have given yourself be kind to yourself say nice things to yourself don't don't be mean to you because if you're mean to you like everybody else is gonna find it easy as well to be mean to you you know then I mean? talk to yourself nicely tell yourself you're beautiful tell yourself you can do it tell yourself you're able give yourself time so i know there are people out there that do vision boards at the beginning of the year and whatnot i love that i wanted to do that this year but <laughs> yeah maybe this year <laughs> The vision board is in my head <laughs> yes so i love that for people like when you have like a vision board and you kind of know what you want to do in that particular year just placing it somewhere in your room and looking at it every day gives you morale it gives you a drive to keep going to keep pushing but then at the end of the year if you end up not achieving most of the stuff that's on your vision board do not beat yourself up about it it's okay to not achieve 
everything as long as you've ticked one or two things that's fine you can try again next year don't now start insulting yourself or telling yourself mean things and all of that just because you didn't achieve what's on your vision board wherever you go you're not going to be as confident as you would want to be because you feel like okay you failed to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve and you feel like everybody else knows about it we don't see it's okay to not achieve sometimes move step by step okay take it a day at a time my point number three don't or rather stop comparing yourself to other people. Jonathan McReynolds said in one of his songs, he said, comparison kills and I believe that. Because for a really long time, I would always look at what the next person is doing. And that wouldn't bring out the best potential, my best ability. If Maria is doing that, then I should also do that. If Maria gets it right and I don't, I feel like, okay, yeah, I'm a failure. And it shouldn't be like that. You are unique, you are you, what you have, nobody else has there's nobody can beat you at being you as long as you are you and you're just focusing on being you trust and believe your self-esteem will be like up here live your life the way you want to live your life but make sure it's within the will of god you know what i mean in trying to be like the other person you end up losing yourself but so when you're trying to compare yourself to somebody else you end up losing yourself in the sense that you start to forget who you are you lose yourself you don't even know what your favorite color is anymore because your favorite influencer your favorite instagram person is always posting neutral colors and whatnot so you feel like okay i mean i could do that as well i mean it's okay but like what's the motive behind why are you doing what you're doing are you doing it because they're doing it and you want to be like them or you're doing it because oh it's a nice aesthetic i mean why not like the motive <clears throat> You know, you don't have to do what the next person is doing. Do you, be you, for you. Move at your own pace. You try and be somebody else. Who's gonna be you? <laughs> You're the only you that you got. This is the only life that you get. You only live once. You only get one shot, you get me? So just be original, be authentic, be real. You know what I mean? If you sing, sing the way you sing. I have friends that can sing. Like they can sing, sing they can listen there was a time i was thinking oh my gosh i can't sing that high i can't sing the moment i realized okay comparing my voice to somebody else's voice is just going to drain me it's just going to take so much from you it's going to take so oh it's going to take so much from me so i stopped doing that i realized okay my voice is unique I have a voice which is mine, which God gave me, which I should use. Ever since I, you know, stopped comparing myself to other people, I even appreciate people more. I appreciate other singers more and I appreciate myself more as well because I'm like, okay, yes, ABCD can sing, right? But I can't sing like them and they can't sing like me. No stress. <laughs> no stress. There's no case here. Like I'm being me, I'm being you. Great let the world keep moving it gives you so much confidence because you are you you are unique nobody can be like you and you can't be like anybody else either so yeah and point number four start falling in love with yourself this point listen i'm sure somebody is asking so how like how am i supposed to love myself it sounds easy but it's not easy spend a lot of time with yourself so that you stop obsessing over other people's lives and start obsessing over yours fall in love with your hair fall in love with your skin fall in love with your your lip shape fall in love with your nose shape your step your body shape i know a lot of people are gonna think okay she means you know take yourself out on dates be alone and just like be in your head i mean you could do that but that's not necessarily what i mean i mean spend more time focusing on you and less on other people so for me what i do is if i'm in a space alone right what is on my mind i'm very intentional about what i think about before i was start thinking about oh so you know how does this person do this or how do they attain whatever it is that they are or how do they achieve their goals how do they 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 listen 
it's not about them they spend time with you it may mean spending time with yourself in your head they think about what you like doing what makes you happy what do you like eating what's your favorite color what's your fashion sense your style how would you like to dress you know what are you thinking about are your thoughts building you ask yourself questions where do you want to be in the next five years what places do you want to travel to what's your like dream vacation place think about how to better yourself Spend time also with yourself like on the outside that can be spoiling yourself take yourself out for shopping if you have the money take yourself out to lunch you know to dinner go to a location and take pictures and post them just love yourself you know what i mean but then be careful not to turn self-love into pride because it's very very easy for that to happen some people love themselves too much it turns into pride it turns into self-worship be careful be humble but at the same time like know who you are love yourself and all of that but don't turn it into like self-worship you start worshiping yourself you start feeling like you're better than others but even the way you speak is gonna change because you'll be putting yourself too much you know listen now here's a little secret okay you don't have to show this to people don't go around telling people oh i love myself uh, uh, me i'm better than everybody me it's going to look bad <laughs> uh, we we don't want to we don't want to know don't tell us <laughs> within yourself know that you love yourself enough okay so when you love yourself you start valuing yourself and you start to know your worth that's just how it is so yeah the moment you start loving yourself this happens and your confidence your self-esteem i'm learning a little bit about like creating a brand as a person like a personal brand if you don't know your value people are going to toss you around they'll do like this i'm telling you when you start valuing yourself even the people on the outside begin to value you the way you value yourself you know what i mean so when you love yourself it's very easy for people to love you as well and i've seen this because if you see yourself a certain way that's how people are going to see you I'm, I'm not just talking about oh no men are going to start loving you if you love yourself no i'm not i'm not talking about men forget the men <laughs>
so this is the end of this video you guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you if you felt this video was helpful please let me know if you have other points that you would like me to know as well because i'm still learning my confidence and my self-esteem isn't where i want it to be but i am way better than i was before so i'm still learning and if you have little tips and tricks that you want to share with me as well comment down below and i will be very very happy to just learn from you guys please like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>